Hey people, Intro here, Team Free For All Faction Rumble, this is the Doom of Tularis, and the green team, of course, is the Orcs. Beggar Man X is a mech boy, teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat puts us a good damage with a bunch of orky gadgets alongside elite player. Mentally deranged is a war boss, a melee hero walking through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines. Up against blue team, Chaos Sorcerer time, it's Dis with some Black Legion elite scheme and Paler Magno with the Knight Lords elite scheme. These guys are offensive and disruptive heroes with powerful battlefield manipulation and control. Rounding off the teams, purple are Space Marines, Nostradamus with an Apothecary support hero fighting in melee by default. Begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Alongside Crazy Chairman 96 as a Force Commander, very strong offense fighting in melee combat can also tank disrupt and support this is the dark angels dlc in like a rose gold or something kicking off in the north attacks are gonna have to retreat off this i think sluggers coming in as well and trying to grab this wreck point i don't think i've ever casted on this map i'm not sure in terms of the free for all layout we have a contested victory point slap bang in the mid turning green for the orcs and it looks like all the teams have two natural victory points. The west purple ones here for the space marines. Blue chaos have one in the south and towards the southeast. And the orcs have them towards the northeast and in the north here. Seems like maybe the orcs have the easiest time supporting each other. There's no like weird bridges and stuff between them like there are for some of the other teams. Like there's this stuff between the two space marine players and the two chaos players have these things. Seems that a fair amount of open space for tanks, but uh, they might have trouble traversing those bridge areas. Look at this. Mechboy turrets going up to hold this. Could go around this way, of course. Could also use Assault Squad. And Crazy Chairman could use the Storm Shield, perhaps. Apothecary's found some chaos, fellas. But he's surrounded. And has to flee. Got himself in a place where he couldn't be surrounded there. But still couldn't hang out. Crack and bolts, tactical marines shooting up some CSM. They need to take some heavy cover. Comes the doom bolts, which just hits terrain apparently. Scouts sneaking to the mid to grab the VP. Gonna see a lot of that, I think maybe. What's going on back towards the north? Triple orc turrets in the north. Crazy chairman is indeed going around and does indeed have chainsword and storm shield. Double tax for Nostradamus. This with more heretics into some noise marines here. Halo Magno, just CSM. Double sluggers for elite player. And beggar man with all those turrets and double shooter boys. Seems like a relatively large map. Kicking off in the south now. Shotgun blast on the sorcerer. Did drop a model though. Those guys have their sergeant and shotguns. And here's the double tax. Supported, of course, by that apothecary. I think it's worth getting him getting that customized storm bolt after full auto the sorcerer in the face and then just stay steady in the back lines and heal. Heretics in the mid now grabbing that VP, or maybe not. Here comes a war boss. He's not happy. He's got no XP yet. He's pissed. Double tax as well to shoot them. Now they can shoot that war boss, I guess. Kicking off in the north. Here comes Crazy Chairman. Looks like. Battle Cry was active there, but so was an orky mechboy death gun, which would have suppressed him. He was out of energy, so couldn't use defend anymore. They got the war boss off the mid, and scouts are gonna cap, not the tactical marines. He wants to use the tacks in battle here. More orc showing up. This is Beggar Man X. Sets up with that death gun, suppressing the apothecary that might isolate him a bit. Trying to get around. Teleports forward. That would have been nasty if those tacks got a bit closer there. What's going on in the east side? Some chaos stuff. Noise Marines bashing this natural power of the Orcs. Warboss not happy. Now gets cacophonied. CSM trying to create some distance so they can shoot. There we go. And there's double aspiring champion heretics here. There's a stomp going in. And Oh, that was a special attack. That's a stomp. And then he has to run and goes down. Might be worth that fella getting spiky armor up for all those heretics. 
or just big stomp maybe. Oh wait, what? Elite players just gone tier three apparently. With with single slug, you just go tier three, okay. We'll see what happens there. Attacked with a sergeant queued up for Crazy Chairman. Here come sluggers. Looks like they have been almost actually wiped out. I was gonna say sent packing. Almost sent dying. There's the defend from the shield. But the carry got a bit too close to stuff. They're just trying to outshoot the mech boy here, but he is in heavy cover and can suppress. Oh, here's a sacred standard now for Crazy Chairman. Constant damage buffs to nearby infantry. Gets in on the mech boy, has to teleport out, but sets up the death gun again. Sluggers get their knob leader. Oh, it's not shooting at the close targets. Here comes a death dread from Beggar Man X. An elite player does indeed just go tier three. They did not cancel it, they stuck it out. It's four mech boy turrets on this bridge here. I don't think that wreck point's gonna change color anytime soon. Burner some bits up for the death dread already. Am I hearing a blast master somewhere? Yes, right here. Halo Magno. Gonna get some Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines too. Blast Master friendly fire, of course. They have s they have not hit this power though. Oh, there we go. Starting to hit the node a bit. That's so close to the base. Look at that power. Towards the east side. This is chaos stuff in Orky territory here. They've creeped up this east side because Elite Player had so little units on the field. But now they have a knob squad. Feels like we're like five or six minutes in and there's a knob squad on the field. Double Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines for Palo Magno. Also goes tier three. Must be more than six minutes in then. Maybe they just get tons of power on this map. They do, don't they? Look. There's like three natural powers. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's like three natural powers for each team. That's where they're, that's where they're teching up so fast. Alrighty. Double missile launch attacks here to fight that death dread, I suppose. Full auto was that. It was indeed full auto on those noise marines. And we have a Razorback for support for Nostradamus. Not sure if anyone spotted that knob squad yet. They're cracking down this generator. This is a natural victory point for the Chaos team. So destroying this will disable it until it's repaired. Down it goes. Those fellas just got their knob leader. They are fully upgraded now. A fully upgraded knob squad on the field already. Here comes a tank for Palo Magno. Towards the north. More power bashing. The sorcerer this time. With his rod of warp fire. And a robes of torment going on. Yeah, look how close this victory point is to that, to that HQ. Didn't realise how close the stuff was. Noise Marines with their sonic blaster trying to shake this stuff apart in the north here. Orcs up against it with that big tear skip from Elite Player. We'll see if they can bounce back here with a knob squad on the field, start bullying people. Here comes a death dread to start bullying chaos stuff. Noise Marines need to get out of there. All of these guys need to get out of there. Not, not much they can do against the Death Dread. No anti-vehicle weapons in play. Sluggers with the flank, but double heretics are there and the Doom Bolts. They're gonna die, I think. Yep. Stayed calm there, this. Knew they haven't had enough to deal with the Sluggers, even with the Death Dread around and this guy Death Gunning. But those guys now need to run. Both have aspiring champions though, CSM, but no mark yet. What is this? This is Sluggers of elite player capping a VP. The knobs have just bashed power, have they? And they're stealing it now? I guess so. Wants all the power, the orc fella. And the war boss is in the mid with heavy armor up. Knob squad on the way now for Beggar Man X. Here's the chaos predator of Halo Magno. No mark on it. And I didn't see any anti-vehicle weapons there. One of those fellas had a plasma gun. Where's Crazy Chairman's fellas? Here they are. Looks like they lost their scouts and had to replace them. 
I don't think... No one's got subjugation, right? No, they didn't get subjugated and put to the end of the roster. They just died. Here's the scouts of Nostradamus. Trying to flank around. The tank's a big threat. Completely messed that shot up. There we go. That's how you do it. We might just be able to chase it down and shoot it in rear armor. I'm not sure why it's showing its rear, but doesn't matter too much. Down goes the Razorback. Crashes into the wood. Victory point. And they all get out and run. Not sure what the plan was. Why would you, why would you flank a tank with a Razorback? In terms of victory points, a slight lead for Chaos compared to the Space Marine fellas. Orcs are behind, but they did do that tier skip into knobs. We'll see how they go. Gretchen's up now for Beggar Man X. Maybe they'll get the uh, the healing ones. I can't remember what they call them. What do they call them? Maybe we'll see. They got that heal over time. That locks you in place, I think. Nope, they're going to be ammo runs, Gretchen's. They get these little shooters. I guess they're big little shooters. Little big shooters? Look at them. Aren't they adorable? 10 DPS piercing. And bags of spare ammo increase the range damage of allies by 10%. Not bad. Here comes a knob squad. And they should have no fear pop. Was that? No, that was Defender. None of them can stand against the knob squad. Triple tax of Crazy Chairman. Did they get a. They did get the Death Dread down, but was that a drop pod tack? I don't see a drop pod anywhere. It might have just fallen over or something. Towards the south, Chaos are encroaching in the west towards the Space Marines here. Looks like they are splitting quite hard with this guy going up the east fighting the Orcs. There's a knob squad. Can they deal with it? Let's go back to the to the south. Terminators go for the cap. Chaos Terminators of Palo Magno. Is it double? Is double plasma attack so they can... Certainly deliver a lot of DPS to those Terminators. Maybe they have, um... No, they have armor of the Apothecary and thought maybe they had combat stims or something. Towards the east, the Nob Squad are persuaded to leave. Oh, we have Tome of Subjugation. And Rod of Warp Fire. And Robes of Torment. So he has good tools to use against the Nob Squad. He could knock them over with this, Rod of Warp Fire. Then lock them down with this. And if they get through all of that, just subjugate them. Power bashing now with blaster with Sonic Blaster. And they can steal it. War boss with a power claw now and trophy rack. Not sure if these guys really want to mess with him. Yeah, he's killing one model every swing right here. There's slow swings, but they're still very, very painful. And he's debuffing them, so they can't really damage that generator very much. Up to 870 VPs, the Space Marine fellas. Heretics do indeed flee. What is this going on? Just orcs capping stuff. Any of the knobs leveled up yet? No. Got a weird boy for elite player. And now flash gets. More heretics of Palo Magno. Land Raider Redeemer for Crazy Chairman. Where do you park that thing in a, in a team free for all? Do you dare take it to the middle? We'll just use it to sit between your like natural victory points, give you a base. Triple missile launcher tactical marines, is it? Yes, it is. Not the greatest thing to have against knob squads, because now Beggar Man X has two knob squads. No sign of a super tough beam or anything, though. Oh, subjugated knob squad there. A warp vomit goes in. Weird boy runs from that fella. Subjugation's one off. Then he can try and cave his skull in, this sorcerer. But he gets away, look at him. There's the flash kits with blasters. Central victory points turns. Purple quad cap for the Space Marines. Doom bolts is largely dodged there. And he could get full autoed if he tries to mess around. There it is. Needs to get a little bit closer to use the full auto, as you saw. A single Chaos Space Marine's hanging out, trying to cap. And here's a Mark of Pawn K 
Chaos Predator. But the carry heals himself. Blasters doing their thing. Look at that. Area of effect psychic damage, which is really bad news for heavy infantry and super heavy infantry. Land Raiders up. Hasn't moved yet. I have for LR, says Nostradamus. I have enough resources, I think he meant. They got some Terminators instead, I believe. Yep. Great unclean one on the way for this. Here are those Terminators of Nostradamus. Start with Power Fists and Storm Bolters kicking off towards the east. A rocks on the Chaos stuff. Gets one really good hit. But not really any others. Maybe the war boss can finish those fellas. No. Goes after the other squad. Maybe a misclick. I think he could have finished those CSM. Gets a good stomp. Level 4. Almost 2,000 hit points on this war boss at just level 4. Heavy armor. So cool. And he's debuffing all these guys with the trophy rack. Tank's been used quite well so far. I think. Done quite a lot of work. It's level 3, this thing. Now that I've said that, the Orcs will probably rip it apart in a second. Chaos Terminators with an auto cannon for Pela Magno. Under threat from the Nob Squad big time, but they have been subjugated now. Doing bolts on the Gretchens. Poor fellas, leave them alone. What have you got? Demon armor. Triple cap for Space Marines. Double for the Orcs. Single for Chaos. There's a Warp Vomits. Looks like we have the Cyclone Missile Launcher. I'm not sure why the purple team have gone so hard into... Oh, I was going to say they've gone so hard into anti-vehicle, but Crazy Chairman's replaced two of those missile launchers with plasma guns. Scout trying to get a cheeky decap. Oh, they did. It's purple, look. Having to take it back, they have a quad cap again. Now, who is this on this side? Is this Paler Magno? No. So, this... Needs to stop running at the Orcs so much. They need to put a dent in the Space Marines here. And they have indeed just taken a Land Raider to the mid. And reinforce off that Land Raider and re retreat back to it. It's a massive boon for your support. Generator's being repaired here. These guys are ready to cap once it's repaired. Fellas. I guess he's looking at something else right now, Crazy Chairman. Here comes Nob Squad and double flash kits. Now those flash kits don't want to shoot at the land radar, unless there's nothing else to shoot at. They want to be shooting at these blobs of marines like this. And I think... I think they should run the knobs at them and the war boss too. It's so tempting to go after that land radar. Because, you know, everything just re reinforce off it. But they can't reinforce forever. They're going to run out of resources. And he should be able to smash through those tacks relatively quickly. They're only level 1. And you could use war boss buffs and things like that. And you don't want them shooting those plasma guns at you. So I think I would run in on those guys. And of course, if they jump inside the land raider, then you go after the land raider. This generator here has been bashed. So the orcs are trying to shut down the space marine victory points somewhat. There's the defend. Those guys run back to the land raider. Force commander's still hanging out though. What's he up to? Not sure if he can get away here. Goes down. Looks like he was trying to retreat back to base. I guess the base was technically closer there. Not sure. Cyclone missile launcher terminators. I think they've already used their cyclone missile launcher. Heretics can repair. There we go. And those Terminators need to be careful of subjugation. Generator here being repaired. Weed boy hanging out. That was a direct hit, I think, that missile launcher. Look at the blasters, though. Big booms. Gets those guys out of there. He must have disabled the Land Raider as a retreat point, because those guys went also back to base. They're trying to bash the gen again. Double cap for Space Marines. Double cap for Chaos. 
Orcs doing a lot of good fighting here, but they're not getting a lot of good capping done. Kicking off in the mid, here's a great unclean one under Zinchin worship. Gotta bring those heretics forward, I think, to worship the front lines a bit more. Doombolts forces the knob squad to leave. There's another knob squad. Uh, Space Marines backing off. Chaos are gonna take that central victory point. Land Raider takes a beating, but has survived. Weird boy needs to run. And here's a librarian for Crazy Chairman. Another Land Raider Redeemer for Nostradamus. Apothecary is going to get a revive. It's up to level 3. Has improved medical equipment. Force one is level 2. They also have a triple cap. Space Marines have a no cap. They're only 504 VPs away from winning though. Orc Battle Wagon for Beggar Man X. He has... Double Gretchen's double knobs and a weird boy. What an awesome what an awesome composition. Are they all Yeah, they're all ammo runs. But they don't have any other ranged units. Why would you get ammo runs? Is it meant to be called ammo runs? I don't know, is it like ammo runts or something? Look at Elite Player Mentally Deranged. He's so deranged he's got four flash kits with blasters. I guess. These guys, it says nearby allies, would these guys buff those allied flash kits if they got close enough to them? Perhaps. But they're not close enough to them right now, and I don't think I've seen them that close. Down goes the mech boy, it looks like he's got a beamy death gun, but the great unclean one said no. You can't use that. Where's the other land raider gonna go? He's going straight to the middle apparently. I thought maybe they'd come towards this VP and try to take it off the Chaos fellas, but they're going straight back to the mid. There's a Zinchian Shrine here now, backed up by a tank, great and clean one, a bunch of infantry, including Terminators and those Blastmaster Noise Marines. Look at that for nuke bait though, imagine a rocks in there. Tons of flash kits, again, not a huge threat to the tank. They don't do much damage to vehicles. The knob squad will. There's a doom bolt and an imperial abyss. Oh, that's really painful. Did not see the beginnings of it there, I guess. Elite player. And the knob squad gets subjugated. I think they lost one of the flash kits in there. Nostradamus just parking on the VP. Subjugated terminators. Looks like they were teleported away though. They weren't teleported into trouble. Just got them away. Attacks having to retreat. Another tank coming in from... Uh, is this this? No. It's a Paler Magnos tanks. Double Mark of Corn tanks just makes them a bit faster. Gives them some more damage. It's a really good upgrade. Pretty solid all round. I've been not, sure, not sure what upgrade to get. Just get Mark of Corn. Double cap for Space Marines now, up over 1,600 victory points. There is the Chains of Torment on the Knob Squad, sends them packing. And we have a tank here bashing the gen. Lots of good tactical gen bashing here. Or strategic gen bashing, I guess, you, I guess you'd say. Blastmaster, good hit. Oh, a Twin Links Assault Cannon says no. Didn't like that. Great Unclean One. Looks hungry. Takes some swings on the Land Raider. An awkward place to fight from with that bridge there. But Hala Magno has done a good job at it. They have a triple cap now, Chaos. Orcs taking... Trying to take this VP back. It was purple for the spell. Oh, they've taken this one, look. Yeah, Space Marines are up against it. This is being repaired again. More heretics for this. Crazy Chairman down to just Tax and the Scouts. I didn't even notice the Land Raider go down. I was too busy watching something else. I don't see the remains of it, so I guess it was broken. Force Commander's down here. There's a bunch of dead stuff here, so I guess it was here. Oh, was there a rocks? Oh, there it is. Look. I think there was a rocks here. It looks like a rocks came in. 
slim VP lead for Space Marines. That was a really good Cyclone shot. Look at the damage on that b battle wagon. This Land Raider needs repairs now. They're taking back their VP. Warboss died trying to steal this or bash this or something. Flash gets doing their flash get stuff. Just send the tanks after them. They can't really do much, as we've seen. Marco Zinch tank now for this. Anti-vehicle upgrade this thing. The two sorcerers hold in the mid. They both have Tome of Subjugation. Which is very powerful to have two of them on your contested victory point. Two knob squads coming in, taking a bunch of plasma gun shots. They're not popping their frenzy for some reason. There we go. A late frenzy pop, I feel like. There's user choppers on those guys. Flash gets doing some good work. Big, big fight here. Kicking off towards the right of your screen as well. Foul snare. Was that a pain boy? Might have been a pain boy that died over there. Might have been. Oh, but there's advanced healing, eh? Need to try and get that apothecary out of it. More Terminators. Got to be. Yep, Crazy Chairman getting some more Terminators in. They're down to just tax and Terminators, though. Look how strong Nostradamus' army is. Just marching forward with that, with that advanced healing. Getting a bit too far away from her apothecary there. He can't do that advanced healing forever. But he still does have some energy left. Good Nurgle vomit. And there's a demonic shield up as well to cover those Terminators. They haven't set the Land Raider as their retreat point. So those guys are going to die. I think they would have survived if they retreated back to the Land Raider. Very slim VP lead for the Space Marines now. It's like 20 VPs in it or so. Subjugated Terminators here. Being dragged into trouble. Is it? Should you even be getting Terminators really? When there's two Tome of Subjugation Sorcerers in the mid. Oh, well, there you go. Gate of Infinity gets them out of trouble. It's one way to counter it. War boss, level 6. Up over 2,000 hit points now. Tries to get onto the VP. I don't think it's going to work out for you, big guy. Down he goes. Oh, Grand Clean One's eating something. Just ate a dodgy orc, I think. He's alright. He's alright. One of the orcs have gone off. Use your choppers and hard boys on these knobs, and they're going after those Terminators. They're doing so much damage per swing, that is scary. They're fully momentumed up, a lot of these guys. See those momentum rings? They get into base. Those base turrets are quite far back, eh? Take a while to start kicking in. They bash this gen again. Now they need to worry about chaos a bit more, the orcs. Always been playing catch up here kind of thing. Well, they did They did that big tier skip elite player. I don't think it's quite paid off getting that very early knob squad. But they got triple flash gets a knob squad and a weird boy. If they get the war boss back up, that's quite a fierce fighting force. Crazy chairman trying to point out to the orcs that they don't have as much points as the chaos fellas. Trying to Guide their anger somewhere else. Guide their fightiness. Which is basically all of the Dawn of War plot so far. Just point the orcs at something. Only 100 VPs left. That chaos need. Here comes a looted tank for elite player. Mentally deranged. Taylor Magno. Urging caution to their ally if they get pushed by both of the players here. Battle wagon coming in. There's a bunch of infantry inside of it. Including knobs. You can see the hammer sticking out the side. They're just finding it hard to approach this. Big zap gun shot was good though, right there though. Grant and Clemon now fighting a battle wagon. Knob squads get out. Grant and clemon has got so much health to get through though. Double Chaos Terminates here for Palo Magno. Both teleporting. Oh, over here. Oh, they killed the, they killed the Apothecary. 
Can they get the librarian as well? They do get the librarian as well. Hell of a fight. Down goes the looted tank. There's a foot of gore. That looted tank did not last long. And there's the game. Chaos had at the end with a triple cap. Awesome stuff. Played those sorcerers really well. We had a level 4 mech boy. A level 6 war boss. Went for that very, very quick tier 3. With all the power you get on this map. Didn't quite pay off. Sorcerer level 5. For this. And level 5 for Paler Magno. Nostradamus is a Pothecary level 6. And a level 2 force commander. For Crazy Chairman. They had the Thunder Hammer at the end. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to these players. For playing a very awesome faction rumble for us. And Crazy Chairman for running these lobbies. And sending in the replays. I'll see you guys next time.